Hi, this is Mike Chi here. I want to do a quick review of some power supplies I've been playing with for the Raspberry Pi. As some of you probably already know, getting a good power supply is critical for the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's been pretty tough because if you don't have a good USB power source, the Raspberry Pi may, uh, may crash or throttle down, in which case you don't get good performance. And even if it does work well, sometimes noise in the power supply can tra translate to noise in your image or sound. So that's not good. Um, I found this guy right here from from Mono Price. It's only about eight bucks. I'll post a link on it um, down in the comments below. But this is a two um, two port USB charger with 4.8 amps of output. It's connected via this thick USB cable to my Raspberry Pi right here. Now, here's my test setup. So I've got an oscilloscope probe on the five volt line and I've grounded myself there. And let's just take a look at the output. So right now we're looking at the scope output of the Raspberry Pi's five volt rail. Um, I have my very scientific test where I have Capcom versus Mar Marvel versus Capcom running on loop um, to, to put a CPU load. And you can see it's working pretty well. It's averaging five volts. So it's, uh, that, that's good. And I'm on uh, peak detect mode so I can see the dips easily. And of course there's gonna be noise on the power line. That, that's to be expected, but it's all pretty well controlled. So this is a great charger. Um, I'll put the link on, on the comments, but uh, let's see how a bad charger does. Here I've used an Apple um, one amp charger connected back up to the Pi. Let's see how it does. It's booting up. Oh. And all of a sudden it crashed. See that big spike? Now it's rebooting again. So Apple one amp charger, no go. I'm gonna stop this before it kills my Pi. So now I've got a Tron Smart um, a two port 4.8 amp charger I got from Amazon. Again, connected back up to my Raspberry Pi. Let's see how it's doing. Oh, you can see here, it's under load. It's already dropped to 4.87 volts and I haven't even started a game yet. So that's not a good sign. So now we've got Marvel versus Capcom started. It's uh, hovering up 4.8 volts. Um, it's not bad. I think about the, uh, the noise variance is pretty comparable to the uh, mono price, but the fact that it's already drooping to 4.8 volts is not promising. If there's more load, um, you'll probably start seeing the uh, low voltage warning. Um, although right now it looks still pretty good. There's no noise on the image, no noise in the sound, uh, no low voltage warning sign. For completeness sake, um, I have this four port charger, also off mono price, and let's see how this one does compared to the two port. Interesting enough, um, the four port charger, despite um, having a 2.4 amps per two pairs of chargers, that's, that's, uh, that's almost five amps total, doesn't do as good as a two port. Um, under load, it's uh, it's hovering about five volts. Um, I haven't started the game yet. Uh, let's start up the game. So here I've got Marvel versus Capcom started, um, starting at 4.9 volts. A little bit lower than the other one. It's not bad. Um, noise variance is still pretty comparable um, to the other two chargers I tested, but the fact that it's drooping to um, to 4.9 volts, uh, 4.98 volts under load is not a good sign either. So overall, I have to say that this guy is a winner. Um, this uh, inexpensive two-port USB charger from Monoprice, and like I said, I'll post a link on the um, in the comments for all of you guys. So if you want one, you can grab one for yourselves.